Today we're going to um, pick up a female double rex ratty. She uh, lives in a house. The, the girl has become pregnant and has got a lot going on so she wants um, her rats to all be rehomed. So we're going to go pick her up and we're going to take her to the same place we took the rowdy the other day because she rescues female rats. I only take in males or else I would just have a house full, I guess. Um, but she's so cute. I've seen her pictures and I can't wait to show you what a double rex looks like. Little girl this morning. Oh, here she is. Here she is. She is a double rex, which that means that they have a little bit of fur when they're born and then they lose all the rest of their fur um, as they get into adulthood. Uh, sh they also have very, very curly whiskers. Let's see. Oh, she's so warm. It's so weird. Well, she's gonna have red eyes, but then one of her eyes she'll end up um, It's kind of a common thing and see I want you to see Her curly little whiskers. I don't know if you can see curly curly whiskers. Oh I don't know what her name is honestly I forgot to ask but she's got red eyes and she's actually losing one of her eyes But she's super warm. She's small once again. I'm not used to little girls. They're so tiny um, boys are so so big, but she is going to a great home today with lots of other females um, Hairless rats actually are supposed to live with uh, furry rats because they need help uh, keeping their temperature where it's supposed to be um, But they are more prone to abrasions uh, Due to their skin not being protected by any fur But they're super cute Say hi Hello <laughs> True rescue fashion. I am out on a rescue mission. I am taking this female ratty to her new home and then I get a call about uh, the Boston Terrier rescue and need to pick up over in Daphne to go to Dothan this afternoon. So which actually worked out because I'm headed to um, Cottondale this afternoon for another transport to pick up another dog. So that's perfectly fine. It actually works out great. So we are headed to Daphne right now. It's now um, 9.30 in the morning. We loaded up at 8 this morning. So it's 9.30 in the morning. We did stop by Krispy Kreme Donuts. See my daughter with her beautiful hat back there. <laughs> and now we are headed to Daphne to go pick up another pup. Chica, aka Rat Dog. Hi, there's a pretty girl. Hi. She's so cute, huh? Oh, she needed to pick up really fast today. Um, so we drove over to Daphne. It's almost 11 o'clock right now, and she is going to be going to Dothan today, huh? She's so cute. She's so friendly. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Hey. Hey, girl. Hey. What are you doing? What are you doing? She is super friendly. She comes with everything they said. She came with a leash, a crate, a tutu, you know, because you got to have your tutu whenever you get packed up and get going. <laughs> so we're going to be heading back into Pensacola right now. We've got to uh, pick up a few more things and then we will be headed out to Crestview in a little while. We are now traveling with, we have three dogs. One child, one rat, and one me in this car. So we're traveling three, four, five. How many is that, Chloe? Seven? Uh, Six? It is three, four, 
We're traveling six deep right now. So we've got little Miss Chica here who's headed to Crestview. Um, our little Ratty who's headed, or sorry, oh my goodness, Chica's headed to Cottondale to go to Dothan. Ratty's headed to Crestview. Um, and then we'll be picking up in Cottondale today. So we have got a car full of fun today. All we need to do is throw some cats in here. <laughs> Just kidding, we don't need to throw cats in here because we have a rat terrier mix in here. And we know why rat terriers have their name. So she has been trying to get at this poor little rat up here. So oh, we've got the rat kenneled and we've got the, uh, the little rat terrier uh, tethered. So everything's all good in here. We're excited. It's a it's a fun day of, of transport once again. So there's stories today. Uh, Chica, the little female rat terrier mix, um, she seems to have just been kind of passed around until finally a really good foster took her in. Um, and then she is with Boston Terrier Rescue. Um, I think it's of, of Alabama. It's Alabama and of Florida. Uh, but they took her in, so that's where she's going, is to her foster up in Dothan. And then the little ratty girl that we have today, her story is she was being dumped out by somebody in Pensacola and a great uh, rescue girl for, for ratties went to meet him up to see if she could help him out and this guy gave her a tub of 13 double rex rats um, some of which were pregnant none of the babies made it um, and she is one of the ones that is left from that grouping we're really grateful that we have rescue people all over looking out for these animals um, or else they'd end up in some pretty awful situations are all uh, the times are changing a little bit on each one of them so I'm getting a little bit stressed out but it's okay everything is okay um, we've got to be um, in Cottondale we're supposed to be there at 1 30 but um, our other transport got stuck in Orlando and won't be in Cottondale until 5 30 so today um, I was only supposed to be out this morning just to go pick up my little female ratty that I'm taking to Crestview while I was out I got the call about um, the little dog that needed a pickup from Daphne so I went and got her and then the delivery that's coming from Orlando got stuck in terrible traffic down there and got delayed by about four hours so I had to delay dropping off of the other two transports. It's just been a, a nutty day, but everything has turned out fantastic. There's a sweet girl behind me. Let's see if we can see her. Little balled up cow colored princess. Hot princess. She's tired. She's worn out from today and I do not blame her, not one bit. Um, and then we've got our little girl ratty that's over here in the little handbag. Um, everybody's been so good today 
So now we are headed to Crestview to go take the little girl Ratty to her new home and then headed to uh, Cottondale to go drop off Chica back here to her foster home. And then we'll be picking up a bully dog named Lola from Cottondale and bringing her to Milton. So our transport is still going on. It's 3.30 now and we're continuing our journey today. The sweet little girl back here is so tired. She's had such a long day. <laughs> Haven't you? Sweet girl. Hi, Chica. Look at her. Look at that little face. <laughs> uh, if she's not going to an adopter, she will be adopted super fast. I'm sure of it. She has been so good. Uh, housebroken, good with kids, good with other animals. Well, good with other dogs and cats. Um, she is very much a true true rat terrier um i know <laughs> for a fact that if i would have given her the opportunity that she would have taken my little rats for a for a drag out in the park um but anyway so we just dropped off gretchen the rat with her forever home and now we are taking um miss chica back here to go to her uh foster or adopter's house so it's four a little after four o'clock right now so hopefully we should be out in Cottondale by about 5 30. yes it's very dark now um it is almost six o'clock right now my other transport um is running two hours behind so I think it ended up being a total of six hours um change from whenever we were supposed to originally meet up. Um, I did give Chica over to the next driver. Um, she's heading up to be with Joy up in Dothan. I'm very happy for her. That is a fantastic dog. That is going to be one lucky adopter. Uh, now we're just waiting here for um, a bully breed named Lola to show up. Um, She's had a lot of traffic today. It's Christmas time. Came from Orlando. So it's just been... Actually, she came from Miami. So it's been one thing after another along the way. So all we can do here is just wait and hope that she'll be here uh, soon. to report that Lola is finally in the van. Uh, very excited to have her. Isn't she beautiful? Look at that pretty girl. Yes, she's very nervous. Um, I mean, she just came from, she was in the shelter down there in Miami. And then she stayed with um, some great people along the way and then had a really long trip and some holiday traffic on the way to get to Cottondale. And now we have about an hour and a half drive home. It is seven o'clock right now, so we should be there around 8.30. And we had to pass off this beautiful girl over to Nikki. Hopefully Nikki is able to pass her on to where she's supposed to go. Um, I'm pretty sure this girl is going to her adopter in Daphne tonight, which is ironically where we started at this morning, around eight o'clock in the morning. So it has been an exciting day. Um, almost to a close. We've just got to uh, travel safe here down the interstate and get Miss Lola where she needs to go and then we will be good for today. Finally, good for today. Transport day. It is 8.40 at night and I'm finally done with all the transports today. We have gotten um, our little female naked rat Gretchen. We got her to Crestview. We got the little female rat terrier mix. Um, Chica over to Cottondale to go to Dothan. And then we just dropped off Lola and got her uh, on transport from Milton. And she's headed to Daphne to her forever at home right now. So we are all done finally for the day. I'm so excited and tired and tired. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks for being with me all day today um don't forget if you want to follow more stories like this 
just subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, and if you're interested in any of the animals, you can always message me and I'll let you know where they are and if they are up for adoption.